morning everybody. It's another vlog. Maaga na naman ang aming ganap for today. Bread, peanut butter. Kumain ako ng breakfast kanina na. Aking oats and fruits. Mayroon kaming viewing sa hospital kung saan ako manganganap. Kasi sinadjust ng aking midwife na i-view ko yung hospital. Kasi pinapapili ako, di ba, kung sa ward, kung doktor yung magpapaanak sa akin or midwife. But I choose the midwife. Pero magkapitbahay lang sila sa doktor. Just in case na if kailangan yung doktor, magpupush lang ng emergency button. So, i-view natin yung hospital kung saan mga nganak si Inday. Um, looking forward din ako i-view kung anong itsura ng kwarto kung saan ako mga nganak Zai. Hmm. Kasi, para din naman ano, alam ko kung ansa saan ako iire. So, nag lang si Dong Franco. 10.30 yung appointment namin. I think it's 10 minutes to 10. How many is drive to get there, Bob? The little Joanna guy. <laughs> uh, pregnancy, that. that's what I have to put up with. <laughs> <laughs> I was testing her, ignoring her. See? This <laughs> <laughs> is the third trimester, Joanna. No patience. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think. You know, I think. I think the baby has a button in there. So she tells you what to do. And if, if I'm not replying, for example, she puts. Pshaw! Shout! 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 <laughs> See, that was passive aggressive. She didn't show it there. She called me Franco. <laughs> to show her aggression, she called Franco. <laughs> 20 minutes? Let's go now, right? Morning, Coop! Si Cooper, di ba si Franco at Cooper kagabi nag ano? Lumabas. <laughs> Sobrang pagod ng batang. Hanggang ngayon hindi pa nakarecover. Alright, on the way sa hospital, kung saan namin i-review, saan i-iri si Inday Juana. So, Franco will be the, he will check today how is he going to vlog during my labor vlog, my labor day. Yes, Joanna has given me clear instructions. So, now I'm under pressure. <laughs> I need to see my Because a lot of you are actually requesting to do a no vlog during my labor but for sure hindi na ako makaka vlog niyan Whoa. I don't think I can able to think about vlogging during that time no? so that's Franco's job to do that it will be a pleasure my dear so even if I'm getting something wrong Joanna will be shouting during her pregnancy so I have to make sure everything is perfect the weather today is very chaka. Chaka. It's raining. Mulan day. Para to niya kung ano. Para kung inaantok wala ko sa mood. It affects our mood. The weather in Inglaterra. Yes, yes. But my sunshine is you, my dear. Ang badoy. Ang badoy talaga nito ng Dong Franco. Actually, I'm still sleepy this morning. Yeah, me too. I don't know why I'm tired. Why I'm tired? I'm tired because my love for you is endless. Ang but ni mo dong wey niyo si kimo pick up lines don sa deka. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Suddenly, Franco is always, you know, saying all this. Even though it's raining, my dear. <laughs> every day I see sunrise when I wake <laughs> up next to you. <laughs> sunrise, for sure, dong. By the way, FYI guys, Joanna has shouted three times this morning. <laughs> uh, so I'm just watching her. Oh, did I didn't shout, I was just annoyed. That was funny though, no? I was let me see what, let me see her reaction if I don't know. Oh just I, annoyed because he's ignoring me. If I me. ignore her, he'll be like, love, how long it takes to get to Frimley? Uh, love, how long it takes to get to Frimley? Ah! 
Actually, at the moment, this is the route I will have to take to go to the hospital. So at the moment, I'm just practicing the route, how I'm going to drive, the <laughs> corners, how I will turn to save as much time as possible for Joanna so I can be by her you, side. You did really have to rush, no? That's... Yeah, it's like in the movie when they rush. <laughs> be it's not like that, Mungu. It's not like that. I don't think so, no. So I what if there's red light and I'm stuck? Can I bypass? Really, I can think I... it's really emer if it's really emergency, yeah. But yes. if there's time, I think it's okay. Yeah, but every second is precious, isn't it? So I'm just practicing the rules. Because Diba, she, she told us that there are times that when you're, when I'm contracting, and then there will be a few minutes that I'm not. So it's like it stops sometimes and then it <clears throat> goes back again. Yeah. Mm. But anyway, this is my route. I'm gonna practice this later as well. <laughs> I'll come back again. <laughs> so. I'm hoping uh, I know when I um, when I'm into labor. I hope it's not in the middle of the night <laughs> because then I look not prepared. Gusto ko magpaganda day at least man lang para ano maganda tayong umere. What do you think? Umere, sir. Because when my sister gave birth when she was into labor, it was like in the middle of the night. Is it? Mm. <laughs> they have to rush to the hospital in the middle of the night. Everyone's tired. <laughs> That's me. I will be there. One second, I'm there. Come on, dear. Push. Push. <laughs> push, baby. Push. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my, my line. You can do it, babe. You can do it. Push it. Push it. Come on. You practice your Hold line. Hold my hand. Already. I'm here with you, my love. Push. What you do you think? Practice your line already. Yeah, I watched the move one movie and I saw him say that. <laughs> Franco things going into labor and like in a movie. But don't slap me, huh? <laughs> so many slap in movie. And dito na kami. We're here, no? Almost. Almost here. Ayan, and dito na kami sa hospital. So, yes, I think we're just on time. I hope. <laughs> no, we're not. We're late. <laughs> We're actually late. <sighs> Walang tao, no? It's quiet here, isn't it? Day two surgery. To yung hospital. Dito din ako nagpapaskan. So actually, tapos na yung ano, tapos na yung tour. So hindi namin expect na it's like a group tour, right? So, we're a lot of our first time mom and first time dad that with us during the tour with the midwife. Or is she nice midwife? Midwife, you know. So they just basically showed us the the labor ward and the kind of maternity ward, which is where Joanna will be having the baby. So you can see like the room which um, we managed to get to work earlier. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, which is quite pleasant. They've got a bed there as well. So if the husband comes, you've got somewhere to rest in, if she does go into labor. Um, and then obviously if there's issues with the labor, then they go to the kind of labor ward with all the doctors and everything. Yeah. It's actually good to kind of see or get kind of picture in your mind where She's going to have the baby, right? So you yeah. can kind of prepare yourself mentally. Yeah. Uh, they did make it clear that you shouldn't really come too early. So if you are having contractions, if it's still early contractions, uh, beginning of labour, then you just try and stay at home. Because you want to be in an environment where you're comfortable. Yeah. It's only when you start to have really, labour really begins. You can't handle the pain or something like that. Yeah, if you can't handle the pain, that's when you come into the hospital. So, so yeah, hindi kami nakapag-vlog, pero nakapag-vlog kami sa phone. Like for example, in the room where Joanna, which we're showing you now on the screen, where she'll be having the baby, you have uh, some fancy lights, uh, the sides help you feel, feel more relaxed. There's, There's like a pull-out pull bed. Mini pool. There's a mini pool there, so Joanna can go come. She can do kind of whatever she wants with There's some hanging kind of yes. cable things that she wants to do, some squats, squats. Yeah, so she said just, just listen to your body. Yeah. So basically they will just leave us and Franco during the time that 
I am into labor. But then if I'm ready to push, everybody will be there, midwife, and she also showed us like, for example, the emergency push button, we're going to press, so everyone will be there. And then she also advised, don't be scared. Once the midwife pushed the button, there's going to be hundreds of people coming in the room. Yeah, yeah, she said there could be a lot of people coming in the room and there's like... But don't be scared, yeah. just basically, it's just what it's like. Mentally preparing mm. my mind on the own. Yeah, and it's like said like as well. Don't be don't be scared if the baby comes out, and struggles to breathe. So like yes, it's a clip. She showed out the machine. Yeah, so there's a picture. There's a clip of the machine on the screen now. So what they use to kind of like give the baby that bit of first breath when they come out. Because sometimes they're not breathing as well. Like they're stressed out during the labor and during the push. Yeah. But yeah, it was good to see really. And then there's visiting hours, nine to nine. Uh, yeah, but she said then if you're actually in labor, they don't kick you out. You can stay. Yeah. It's only if you're not in full labor yet, then you can't come. Because you have to I might, in my need to rest as well. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah, it's a good experience, really. Good to kind of know where what's happening. Um, yeah. Now it's how many weeks? Thirty-three weeks. Thirty-four weeks. So she, Thirty-four and three days. Three weeks time. That's when anything can happen, right? Really. She said. Uh, she mentioned that from thirty-seven onwards, it's safe to give birth already. Two and a half weeks. Right? Yeah, two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. Thirty-seven weeks since the age one. So it might be end of this month or first week of April. Hmm. Let's yeah, see. it's quick. No? When's the due date? Twenty-six of April, isn't it? Until twenty-six of April, the due date for. But depending, they said that if it's a first time baby, it might be as well two weeks early or two weeks late. Yung ate ko, she was two weeks early with Sasa. So after Sasa came out, which was 36 weeks and five days. Maybe 37. So pretty much where is Sasa na ilang days. So 36 weeks and five days is Sasa no. Mapasya. So that's why my sister prepared me. So it might be end of this month, first week of April, ang mga mata. Let's see, that's like, yeah, two, two weeks, two and a half weeks. Because now I'm starting to also do the production of the Actually, this is one of the modern hospitals, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's quite a modern one compared to the ones we've seen previously. So really? It's like, yeah, they have the facilities here, good facilities. Actually, the room is good. There's some like light that makes it more. I haven't said to her, is, is, there, is there a possibility that the rooms can get full? Don Franco is a chef today. Can you look on Don Franco? Yeah, so I'm just cooking some chicken, rice. This is stir fry, really. Nothing too complicated, nothing too uh, easy. Stir some chicken, fry it. So finally, yesterday, supposed to be Franco is a housewife, a housewife every weekend. But yesterday, hindi niya ako nilutuan. Today is good husband. Yeah, so basically guys, I never get a day off. I work Monday to Friday, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday as well. <laughs> there we go. I just ate some, ano. Uh, Joanna's already eaten, so that's Joanna can have that later. Wow. Lame? Lame. Lame dong? Hi, Cooper! Hello, baby! Bagong ano to? Bagong nap si Cooper, bubo. Ah, bagong nap ang aming kuya, Cooper. Mag-shower na ikaw tomorrow, dudong. Mag-shower na si Cooper. It's good, Dan. Mm, very nice. Well, it's quite easy to cook, really. You have to buy the rice I bought pre-made. So, just Mexican-style rice with the chicken, the grilled chicken. And uh, put some spring onions in there today. I think the rice is a bit sticky, but it gets warm. to mix it up a bit. Chismoso. <laughs> Chismoso, Marites. Coop! Are you Marites? <laughs> What's daddy doing, boy? Hello. <laughs> ano yan, kakagising lang kaya walang ano. Walang 
energy. I think it was very tired today. Yeah, what did you do run. yesterday? No, he's last night. So he's been chilling the whole day recovering, isn't it? Mmm. He likes his belly rubs. Actually, he's just been lying down the whole day, no sleeping. You know when you're going to set up, set up the whole day, Cooper. Yeah, we had a busy day today, actually. Went to the hospital appointment. We went to Zara. In town. Actually, diba, ano, may binili ako sa H&M na pantulog. Sinukat ko nung nakaraang gabi, hindi siya kasha, Zai. So, sinuli ko yun. Buti na lang talaga. Here in UK or in Europe, right? You can uh, return the clothes up to 30 days. In Philippines, no, you can't do that. So, yun yung maganda dito. Kaya minsan hindi ko na siya sinusukat doon mismo, lalo na pag mahaba yung pila. Pag pumupunta ako ng H&M or Zara. Kasi pag hindi ka siya, pwede lang naman siyang anuhin. It's a ole, and then you can change the size. But I changed my mind. Baka iba na lang yung going on my outfit ko. Maghahanap na lang ako sinasasayangan akong bumili ulit. But yeah, anyway, hindi siya nakasya, Jai, kasi I found out I'm size large, na no? Because of my bump. Nagsukat-sukat kami ni Franco kanina. Size large na si Inday Joanna. From extra small to large, imagine. Hindi na siya kasha sa chan ko. So I need to size up. Three size up. Because of my big bump. So when you're pregnant, you don't really like to shop. Because... Huh? <laughs> when you gave you birth... You one hour. Yeah, but when you gave birth, no? It's waste of clothes, hmm. really. So, parang hindi ako ginaganahan mag... Ano ba magsukat sukat? Maybe you can just borrow Michelle's clothes, isn't it? That would fit you. Who? Michelle. <laughs> no, she's she lose weight now. No, because she's tall, isn't it? Michelle's oh yeah. Girl. Yeah. So. Because you're small and Michelle's tall, so her clothes probably fit you. So all my clothes are at mom's house, right? Hmm. With inside the big box. So lahat ng mga gamit ko nung il mga damit ko na payat pa ako. Char. <laughs> Payat pa ako. Ando na kay Mama Chris. But Franco is planning to go to Mama's, Mama Chris. Actually, I think I might need to go to Mom's because I won't see her before she goes. It's only two weeks, no? Yeah. Yeah, so next week, pupunta na sila sa Pilipinas. Diba, we announced that all the family are going to the Philippines. We supposed to go as well. But unexpected, diba, nabuntis ako. So, hindi na ako makasama. Supposed to be a family trip to Philippines. Especially sa mga bata because it's gonna be their first time going to the Philippines, right? But, unfortunately, dahil hindi kami makasama. So, might as well end of this year. Uuwi kami ng Pilipinas with our baby girl. Tignan ko naman, ang laki niya ng siya. Cooper, do you want to go to the Philippines? <laughs> Do you want to go to the Philippines with us, boy? You look anything. What the hell is she talking about? Do you want to go to the Philippines? Hey? Do you want to? Alrighty, time for skincare. So, magi skincare na ako. Para ready to sleep na tayo. So, first thing first, wag talaga tayong mag ano. Wag tayong mag. Wag tayong matulog na may. Make up or hindi nagi skincare, kundi ba? Laban lang kahit hindi na mag skincare minsan basta nakahilamos lang. Yung talaga yung pinaka importante. So as usual, ito yung ginagamit ko double cleansing from Kales. So, three pump jai. Gumo ka kala kwa kwa pero laban lang. At least double cleansing. Since nabuntis ako, super mild na yung mga anak ko. Mga ginagamit kong mga skincare. Tsaka hindi na ako nagre-retinol. Suppose, usually talaga nagre-retinol ako. Comment down below sa mga gumagamit ng retinol dyan. Pag ano na lang, after kong mag-breastfeed kay baby. Kung meron talaga akong gatas. Sana talaga meron akong gatas, no? Kasi iba pa rin talaga pang nag-breastfeed kay baby, eh. Go ko kahit mga 6 months lang sana, sana meron. Pagdating ng aking ano, dating na aking breast pump, ita-try kong mag-pump. 
para mamassage ang aking breast. Kasi dahil alam niyo naman ako, wala akong coco melon. I mean, super liit ng coco melon ko. Diba? Pero laban pa din si Inday. O diba? Parang ka talagang wak-wak dito dahil. Alright, next is ginagamit ko tong Estee Lauder na perfect perfectly clean. Ayan. Once or twice a week. Para siyang mask. Para talaga ano. Para super ladies. And of course, before mag skincare, no, mag toothbrush muna tayo. Zai. Huwag natin kalimutan mag oral care before mag skincare. Natay ma toothbrush. Let's go with our night repair serum. Hello, Cooper. Ito si Cooper na kay sobrang stalker sa akin dahil hindi talaga siya mapakali pag ano. Hindi siya nakabuntot. <laughs> ako talaga yung nanay ni Cooper. Nagaalala ako ba kasi paglabas ni baby, di ba? Magiging busy ako. Baka hindi ko naman. Ah, si Kaso, si Cooper. Siyempre, I will do my best pa rin talaga nun, ano? Hindi makalimutan tong baby boy ko. Kasi anak talaga yung towing ko dito kay Cooper. Hindi lang aso. Next is the Revitalizing Supreme Youth Power Cream from the same brand. Ah, grabe. Paubos na siya, dai. Kakabili ko lang nito. Grabe si Frank ko magamit ng ano, ng skincare ko. Lahat kasi ng skincare ko, yun din yung skincare ni Frank ko. So, ako yung tagabili, siya yung tagagamit. Gansi ko dahi. Mahal ba siya? Eye cream. From Clinique. Pang mabilis ang ano lang to. Pang mabilis ang skincare. Pang tamad. And next is my bomb skincare since first trimester. Nag-start akong gumamit na itong bio oil talaga. Ito talaga yung ginagamit ko. And I know madami sa inyong nagsasabi na um, stretch mark is ano daw. Uh, genetic daw talaga. May iba kahit hindi naman sila naglalagay ng kung ano-ano. Wala silang stretch mark. But ako, tinatry ko lang din talaga gumamit nito. So far naman talaga, wala akong stretch mark. Nanganak na lang ako maybe in 2 weeks or 2 and a half weeks. Ayan. So, pinapahid ko lang siya dyan. Pati dito sa, ano ko, sa may perlas ko. Of course, mamaya napagawa ng camera baka makita yung perlas ni Inday Joanna. Parang hinahaplos ko lang yung baby ko. Oh, so far, buyag-buyag no. Wala akong stretch mark. Buyag in dime. <sighs> hangak siya dahi. Huh! Kahit mag-skincare lang, hangak. <sighs> so, ay, tapos na tayo mag-skincare. Maraming salamat sa panonood ng vlog natin for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you loves on our next vlog. Bye, Vegan.